Welcome everyone. So today what we're going to do for our art directive is actually to follow the steps of the self-compassion break that we followed in the meditation and we're going to follow those in the form of an art therapy directive basically. So step one is just acknowledging um, you know a time of feeling um, suffering or stress. It's just acknowledging it for what it is. Step two is connecting to the larger picture. So just realizing that you know, you're not alone in this time of suffering. Other people are going through either similar experiences right now or have in the past. And then step three is basically just turning um, kindness towards that moment of suffering. So now I'm just going to guide you through the art directive for today. Basically just move with that energy of distress, just in lines and movement through the materials that you've chosen. And I'm just gonna do this for maybe about one to two minutes. Okay, so that's my background, uh, which might be hard for you guys to see, so I'm just gonna bring it up there. So just a scribble drawing for the background. And then, now that we've energetically acknowledged um, yeah, just the stress that we're experiencing at, at this moment, now the next step is actually labeling and naming what is causing you stress. So let's just take a moment just to empty our minds onto the paper, just any words um, that pop into your mind in terms of what's causing this distress for you at this time. So basically now we're going to go into step two of the self-compassion break, which is then looking at the bigger picture and then connecting, knowing that other people have the shared experience. So now what we're going to do is just focusing on, again, that, that problem that's coming to you. Then you're going to be focusing on, yeah, how does it feel to connect with that, knowing that there's other people experiencing that? What can you symbolize to know that that connection is there? So some obvious symbols may come up. So for me, you know, hearts, and kind of this web image is coming to mind. So I'm going to combine both of those in my art. Um, and then this time I'm gonna do a bit of a darker, um, heavier material. So moving to markers now. Um, you can do the same as well. I start with a lighter background with what I don't want to see, the worries, um, in pencil and pen, because it's lighter. And now I'm using marker on top of that. So let's take a few mo moments to do that now. Just thinking again of symbols or words that come to mind when you're thinking of that shared connection. Is meeting these experiences with kindness for ourselves. So I'm going to think of a symbol that can remind me to always um, greet these moments of stress or difficult times um, with love and kindness. Or it could be kind words or messages to um, direct to yourself in these times of distress. So let's do that now. And again, as you can notice, I'm, as I mentioned, I'm going light to dark. So now I'm going to move to oil pastels to write on top of that, just so that really sticks out into my image. And again, you don't have to use the same materials as me exactly. Um, so if you don't have oil pastels, don't worry, you can continue using markers. Um, or you could move to um, crayons or something like that as well. So let's take a moment to do the last step together. Now I'll invite you all to just take a moment to reflect on what you created and maybe just jot down a few things that you noticed. Um, so I'll share some things that I've noticed here just to give you an example of what you could look for. Okay, so as you can see here, what's really coming to me um, is, yeah, just, you know, getting into my inner resource and resiliency, which I denote through a whale, through symbolism. Um, two key messages kind of came up um, in terms of, you know, um, helping me reset my mind frame um, and my abilities to get through this time um, and connecting with my inner resources. Um, so I have the two phrases, this will change 
and every day is a fresh start. And I'll be posting another video next week for you guys all to try out as well. Um, and just a reminder, if you um, have any questions, you can message us um, either on our Facebook or Instagram. Or if you have suggestions of topics or themes you would like to see us cover in the meditation or art directives, you can let us know as well, um, either through direct messaging or comments. So thank you all again for joining me, and I look forward to seeing you again next week. Bye, guys!